Ah, oh, <laughs> it didn't stick. Just so you know, Although, he tried putting it over your face. I didn't condone that. It won't. It won't work. It only stayed at the sides. Fucking asshole. Possible. Although right the, now you're taking up the entire monitor here. Well, that'll happen. See, with this setup though, um, I look like I'm the guest on your show. <laughs> unless, <laughs> because you, unless because this you was love me. connection, in which case we'd be the guests. Well, that's true. Hey, hey. <laughs> wait till it's my contestant. We promised the camera wouldn't be recorded. <laughs> contestant number one. <laughs> hey, we could actually do, we could actually do a small little segment like that real quick to see how well we know each other, right? I mean, we could, could learn some yeah. dark dark secrets about me and Tip. We'd have to research that a little bit more, though. I guess that's true. Are you recording right now? I am. Huh. Huh. Kind of so welcome to uh, what did ask for. So we should probably explain why it is me and Tip aren't in separate little squares this time. Because they they like each other for real. That's. Yep. That's really, basically it is, it. is my uh, my brother is graduating high school, so I took a week of vacation. Oh, that's nice. He's yeah. graduating. Yeah. On Thursday. Holy tomorrow. crap! Yeah. He's. He, okay, when I met him, not when I met him, when I went to his house, I, I remember when his mom was pregnant with him. So this is a really, really creepily long time. How old are we? This is awesome. My brother is 19. He failed here. Um, still. So Who hasn't? I'm 32. That's true. Who hasn't? I failed <sighs> twice. Ooh, twice. And the wife just got home, but we should be fine. Well, I... I say fail. I failed like two courses. That's fine. I failed at life. How about that? One of those <laughs> I failed twice. It took me ten years to get through college. <laughs> uh, not a doctor. That's a. That's awful. Now, no. What's awful is today I went to the grocery store, uh, pick up some stuff because my mom wanted to have a little barbecue for my brother, and uh, this girl kept looking at me, and she she was pretty cute, and I was like, oh, she's pretty cute and she's 18 19 years old and she walks up to me and is like oh wow a little boost of confidence and she told me she had a lot of fun last night i was like what did i do <laughs> <laughs> was, she went out with my brother ah. oh boy here we go so confidence so that's, when, yeah. that's when you say you think you had fun last night <laughs> I, I taught him everything he knows just go from the uh, were, were you guys really popular with ladies in high school? No. No? no? Okay. No. I, I had a I think I had a stalker, but it wasn't I don't think it was like a healthy stalker. It was very I think you mentioned I think I that before. about that before, right? I think so. It wasn't no Tango Charlie. Might need to bleep that out in fear of It was or, something about ROTC, something oh, on the walls or something. Um, she looked like a wrecking ball? And she came in like a wrecking ball because her love was pure. She wanted to break down your walls. It's beautiful. You, you know way too many of those lyrics. <laughs> you know there's a, I, I didn't even know he knew that. So that's there's a um, a band. I can't remember their name. I'll have to look them up. But they do cover songs, the popular songs. It's two guys that do it on acoustics. Oh, Sounds yeah. Really You've linked that to us before. Yeah, really they, good acoustic with those two guys. They turn utter shit into decent music. Yeah. Hard to do. Yep. Well, I mean, all music nowadays is basically sounding the same. Everything's poppy. Everything's about life. Being Everything realistic. is an 80s song. Yes. And people go, oh, man, this song's really great. It was great in the 80s, too. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, the style is poppy, but at least in the 80s, it, it was revolutionary, and they didn't mind doing weird things like someone would have a verse and a lyric, and then you hear a tiger roar in the background, and... Or you'd hear like video game sounds in the background. Because he's right? hungry like the wolf. I was gonna say, what are you what are you talking about? <laughs> Duran Duran? Not just Duran Duran. <laughs> or fucking Depeche hey, Mode. Talk 80s songs, man. Here we go. Because I mean look at freaking um Smoking in the Boys Room. You guys don't know any of my 80s stuff. Aren't we a Who's, Motley Crew? Who sang uh, that originally though? Because the Smoking in the Boys Room version that I know is the Motley Crew version, and I know they didn't write that song. I think Van Halen. I think Van Halen's the first Really? Because th the version I remember is David Lee Roth. To the interwebs. Hmm. Maybe. It, I mean, it could be like a Catch-22 thing, where Catch-22 is the original band, then the side project band, it's the Acoustic Revolution, covered all the Catch-22 songs. 
that transformed uh, uh, Streetlight Manifesto, and guess what? They covered all Catch-22 songs. <laughs> <laughs> Originally recorded by Brownsville Station. That's it, Brownsville 1973, Station. 1973, their album, yeah. I oh. knew that. Cause we go for dad, accuracy here. Because my course. dad knew, like, there's a whole big, like, talking verse. He yeah. like, that's the best version, because it's the original. I like, um, Harry on my wayward son. By Kansas? <laughs> it's Kansas. By Starship. Kansas. By Starship did that first? I don't know who did it first. I'm going to find it first. The only reason I know that is because, and I'm about to reveal something here, if you guys didn't already know this about me, I watched Supernatural, and every si- silence, both of you, Every season, the last episode, they play the the whole summary of the season with Carry On My Wayward Son. That's I mean, that's a pretty good show. Awful. I, it, I disagree. It is an awful show. I disagree. It is absolutely awful. I disagree. watched all of it. You know how I know it's an awful show? My wife loves it. Oh, okay. Oh, let me tell you what she's looking she at. She watches like. such horrible shit. And I've told her. She is like, looking at Misha Collins and... Um, What's his face? Not Jared Padalecki, the other one. Dean? Dean, yeah, but what's his real name? That's going to drive me nuts. Anyway, I know it's crap because she watches nothing but crap. I'll be right back, gentlemen. I watch House. I've told her that before. I said, you know, other than the stuff that you and I watch together, you watch shitty TV. And she said, you just say that because we have different tastes. And I'm like, you just told me the other day that, quote, all of my shows are being canceled. And Are all the shows being canceled? All of the shit that she watches. Oh. The god awful crap. Yeah. She'll, she'll watch anything. There's shit that she watches that's on MTV that's geared towards like 16 year old girls. She loves it. I, I stopped watching MTV when the music stopped. Yep. And Same. even that, it was hard for me to watch MTV. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I don't know, but I tell her that all the time. Like, you watch shitty, shitty TV shows, and then the one day yep. she comes up and she's like, "All my shows are getting canceled." I'm like, "See, how many of my other shows that I watch, which are very few, have been canceled?" They'll never cancel Jeopardy, Dan. NCIS. Oh, well, I, I like NCIS. Although it's I fucking, am... I don't know. They're, they're, it's Michael Weatherly's gone now. Denozo. Yes, that's just on a. Uh... It's just Gibbs and McGee. Not Sean Patrick Harris. That's not his name. Um, McGee. Yeah. It's just Gibbs and McGee. I don't know. I I kind of... I didn't like the ending where they said, Hey, Ziva had a mystery daughter. And she's yours. Wait, what? Oh, you didn't know? I... (laughs) I should have mentioned that beforehand. I'm a little behind on NCIS. Oh. I'm only about the midway point of the season. Oh, um, then forget what I just said. <laughs> I didn't give away the season finale at all. Ah, that's all right. But uh, Game of Thrones will never be canceled. No, it'll just end. Yeah. Oh, I just realized something. My genius plan isn't working. What's that? Hold on. So I've been, because of the way that you and Pat were sitting, ah. I've been just holding my webcam between you two. Yeah. So it's it's Pat, or you're on this side, Pat's on this side. Oh, Jesus Christ. And then my camera's in the middle. Ah. Uh. But I just realized that you can still see my cursor. <laughs> and it was right in the middle of my forehead for the last few minutes. Works for me. What's with the hat, Pat? What hat? Exactly. You look like fucking Walker, Texas Ranger. No, I don't. There's a, I, I met a girl uh, at my cousin's house. They sing together, they have a, a daughter, and all, all sorts of weird stuff. Let's not do this. No, uh, my, my cousin had a barbecue for Memorial Day, mm-hmm. and uh, this girl came with her dog. And the dog's name was Walker, which really blew the mind out of my cousin's son. He's one years old, and you know my family calls me by my birth name, right. my slave name. My slave name. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. Let, 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 let me edit this. Yeah, but uh, they, they call me Walter, so we were talking to the dog, and we were yelling at the dog, Walker, and my little cousin was just like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh, wait, I, 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 I missed an opportunity for a question. Is the dog's last name Texas Ranger? No, that gets me 
further into the story. So I was talking to said girl. Is he a Walker him. hound? No. Does he drink Johnny Walker? No. Ooh, he should. But she has another dog that she didn't bring named Ranger. Ah. And I was like, oh. That's awful. What happened to Texas? Is Texas dead? We live in Texas. <laughs> no, because you said she had another dog named Ranger. So what if one of them was Walker, the other one was Texas, the other one was Ranger, and all you found was Walker and Ranger? So oh. what happened to Texas? No, speak Chuck Norris joke, by the way. Never mind. <laughs> I was No, I was going to remember what I told you last night when we were talking about dead dogs. I was going to say that again, but I won't. My, my, my mother-in-law's dog passed away. I mean, you so can. It it's just it's more spooky than it is. It's a spooky story, I guess. Like, I mean, it's not spooky. So the seven-month-old dog got into a bag of chips and then got the chip bag stuck on his head yeah. and suffocated. Oh, so it got a Darwin Award. He did. Oh, okay. But people love animals. Darwin <laughs> always gets his. I'm, I'm sorry. Darwin always gets his. He was just a puppy. He wanted a potato chip. It was a horrible tragedy. It's terrible. Awful. Awful. I've it's been awful. very fortunate not to to have come and found my pet uh, deceased but uh, my um, we did have three cats we had five cats my parents had five cats at one point and it's just because my family loves cats mm -hmm. and uh, what ended up happening is that we adopted two but then um, uh, three of them just showed up at my parents house so you know they loved them they took mercy on them they fed them they never left well, after a while, one of the cats disappeared. The smallest one disappeared. We could never find out what happened. Well, they live. The walls start to smell. <laughs> no, they live next to a busy street. So we thought, oh, poor kitty got hit by a car. So there's nothing we could do. We never found out for sure, but it just disappeared. Next cat disappeared a couple of months later, and was like, what the hell is this? What's happening to the cats? Two of them were house cats. Three of them were outdoor cats. Well, finally, the third cat, which we, I mean, she was out outdoors, but we were keeping an eye on her, making sure she wasn't getting into anything she wasn't supposed to. She started having seizures, like somebody, like really, I don't know what it was, but almost like she was poisoned. Because hey. we ran her to the to the vet, and uh, the vet said, yeah, something's wrong. Her kidneys are just shutting down for no reason whatsoever. It looks like she ingested something that attacked her system, and we're like, you got to be kidding. It was it an outdoor so, cat? Huh? She was Did an outdoor cat. Oh, well, she was inside a lot. Like all five of them were allowed to inside and outside, but we don't. There's two of them that were really older. No, so I'm, I'm wondering because the I've seen that happen, and uh -huh. it's because they got into antifreeze. Really, which is very sweet. Yeah, and they'll just yeah. lick the shit out of it. But I mean, where would they have gotten that? Somebody had to have been changing their car and just left it out somewhere. Could have been on the sidewalk, whatever. Well, we kind of feel like oh, if... Sidewalk in somebody's driveway or... Yeah, and I, I hate to think this, but people in that neighborhood, they kind of don't... I guess they don't like cats or whatever. So mm -hmm. I'd hate to think somebody intentionally poured a little bowl of antifreeze and left it in the backyard, you know what I mean? Maybe. But that sounds very that sounds very likely, unfortunately. Well, I, anyway. Uh, that was right. Anyway, enough about dead animals. Yes. Let's talk about Kimbo Slice instead. Oh, Hold on. oh, rip in peace. You know, what, you know what I just noticed? Pat's wearing the same shirt as in his drawing. Oh, I am. Is. I came back in the rotation. He's just... living the cartoon. I so I, I, I made a, an observation the other day. Because when Prince died, right before he died, um, China, the wrestler, died. Mm -hmm. I thought, oh, poor her, always getting upstaged. <laughs> so then uh, Kimbo Slice dies right after Muhammad Ali, and it's kind of like, oh, man, upstaged again. <laughs> That's true, yeah. You know what's so bad is that every, they always say uh, deaths occur in threes. Mm -hmm. There's always three that happen at the same time. And so you got Kimbo, you got, um, you got Muhammad Ali, and I guess China should have been the third one, right? No, the third one no, is... she was part of... Uh... It was China, Prince, and... <laughs> well, because... Uh, Peyton Oswald's wife. Who the hell's Peyton Oswald? Patton Oswald. Patton Oswald. Patton Oswald's name. Okay. But here's the thing. I, I mean, okay, look, I don't know who that is, but that poor yes, person got do. undershadowed. Probably I do. Yeah, you do. He's... 
Uh, if you've played Minecraft Story Mode, he's the main voice. He does a lot of voice acting, but he's been in Shield. He was in a Agents lot of Shield. shit. Really? Um, yeah. He was on. Who is he? Ward? Or no, he's not Ward. He's a side character. <laughs> yeah, he, he's you know the the one agent that's in all the different. It's the same agent, but he's in all the different locations. He's like, oh, this is my twin brother. Oh, this is. Oh, him! Yeah! That bastard! Yeah, I can never figure him out. That guy always confused the hell out of me. But, okay, here's the thing. Okay, yeah, his his wife passed away with everything, mm-hmm. but I think everybody's considering the third one, the gorilla, that got oh, shocked. Because it, it, it jumped into the thing, so the biggest outrages right now have been Muhammad Ali, Kimbo, the gorilla. We're not know. talking about bathrooms anymore, so I'm okay with it. To hell with the gorilla. <laughs> I mean, the Bible says they have no souls, so clear. No, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> well, I would never say something that involved the Bible. No, but, no, but I mean, it's a, I, I, I went on a bit of a rant the last time I talked about that, so I'm going to kind of not do it again. But I'm just real yeah. tired of people dying. Well, it's not, I don't think they're choosing to die. I'm well, really I... on a way that Ozzy Osbourne isn't one of the ones on the 2016 list. Hold on. Pat... Oh. Hi- you watch Archer? Uh, no, but I have my, my, my friend Julian does relentlessly like a religion. Hmm. Okay. I should. I will. He's an Archer, right? No, there isn't. Yeah, because he's an Archer. The reason I was asking is I, somebody in my life somewhere keeps asking me about Archer, and I thought it was you. Apparently, I'm not in his life enough, too. You see how this no. is? You see, I get close enough to you, and then Dan just pushes me away. I understand. <laughs> I know. I said. So, Game of Thrones, huh? Yeah. Uh, kind of slow episode. Spoiler alert. We're going to talk Game of Thrones here for a second. So keep skipping ahead. You might catch something you might not. The first time you guys are ahead of the book readers. Um, Yeah. It, it was slow, but I, I think this next episode building up it, is going to be epic. The only thing that this episode could possibly set up is Lady Stoneheart. Well, and, and also... Um, with the um, fucking hat, the hound and the hound in the mountain, their fight. They've already had one. But I think they're gonna have a. Well, I mean, there's a good chance that somehow he finds Arya, helps her out, ends up in King's Landing, ends up fighting the mountain in a trial by con- combat where Cersei loses and finally dies. Yeah. Maybe. But the only thing that I can see this, that whole episode, was because it was all about, hey, look, the Hound's not dead. The only thing it could set up is the Lady Stoneheart thing. That's true. Because the fucking followers of the Lord of Light killed everybody he was with. Yeah. So now he's going to go find them. It's going to turn out that they're part of the Brotherhood Without Banners. Yeah. They were the people that, you know, he killed the guy and then they resurrected him or whatever. Now, the scene with Theon and his sister... That was, that was a, I mean, that was a good scene, but that should have came, like, I don't know, four episodes ago. Yeah, I, like, yeah but they had to sail away and get to the brothel. I mean, saying. maybe, but, like, really all he needs is one good pep talk from his sister, and he's going to be, oh, I'm good again. I think there's going to be more pep talks. A lot more. I would but, hope so. Because you know, the amount one, of shit that he went through to get to the mental state he's in now. Yeah. It's going to take more than just one, like... Keep drinking. All right, are you with me? Well, that's how I get all my people to follow me. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Thank you, Kool-Aid. We're going to go on a big spaceship. Yep. But, uh, yeah, no, I, it was a little slow. I was really impressed with that um, that little girl. It's like, you can have 62 men. When they were building, trying to get all the different followers for the north... Oh, yeah, 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 the well, the Mormont. It was fucking... Yeah, the Mormont. She's like, you can have 62 men. You can have as many as you want. 62. <laughs> uh, one thing that was really disappointing was no Daenerys. Well, I mean, you can't put her in every episode. Sure you can. Especially since she showed her boobies recently again. Yeah, that's true. Probably need to build up again. So we thank her for that and give her yep. a break. Desktop background. <laughs> <laughs> That's almost exactly how she looked, yeah. too. Yeah. 
And she, I, I go for accuracy. I mean, I laughed my ass off at that scene because she's like, what, 10? If that, maybe 8? And yep. she's such a fucking hard ass that John's like, uh, uh. Like, it almost looked like John was going to be like, you know what? We're, uh, we're good, thanks. Yeah. And just leave. I heard that uh, George R. R. Martin might do the whole Willy Wonka thing where he passes on the story to somebody else to finish. He might you have guys to, fuck. He's got one foot in the grave already. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, that's, that's what I'm saying. Are you, are you guys okay with, like, as avid Game of Thrones fans, as somebody else other than him finishing the series? Yeah, I'll write it. I mean... <laughs> I don't think that was an audition. No, I... <laughs> Obviously, it wouldn't be the same. But no, it would hit the major plot points that he's looking to hit. So, it, it could be like, um... but I mean, Tolkien's son wrote a bunch of shit after Tolkien died too, right? Yeah, or Tolkien. Yeah, but I mean, that was like the Samarillion, right? The, the history of mm -hmm. of uh, Middle Earth. But... Yeah, he, he wrote the history of it. And... But it's it's like if no, he had he taken finished, over, he finished it... a book. Yeah, he finished with, like Return of the King. No, 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 no. no. I don't not, remember not which book. Not the four that, not the main ones. It might have been actually. I think he wrote the Children of Hurin. Mm hmm. Hmm. I think. But I know that there was like some some book that was mostly done or whatever, and then the kid stepped in and finished it. Yeah, and uh, you know I, I don't have a problem with that. Um, I mean, let's go to the greatest selling book of all time. The Bible is written by a bunch of different people. I, I don't know if that's an accurate comparison, but yes, I see your point, yes. Greatest selling book, most uh, most often stolen. Yep. From hotel things. Doesn't matter where. <laughs> Isn't there an irony that you're you're stealing a Bible? I mean... Yeah. Oh, by the way, Jensen Ackles. That's Dean from uh, Supernatural. Jen? His name's Je Jen? Jensen. 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 J-E-N-S-E-N. -E -E yes. Ackles. They actually make me kind of best because both of them, I think one of them's from Austin, the other one's from San Antonio. I was like, how could Texas do this? <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, it's a pretty good show. I really feel that, that yes, the writing in some places could be a little bit better. It's a great but show. The, the concept is is there, and it's it's really good. Do you watch that back-to-back -back with The Bachelorette? See, I don't understand. Why, I don't know why you have to do this. I don't <laughs> see why you have to poke it. What if I did? No, I don't know. It's just, I, I mean, I like shows that that look like they're being produced by kind of like I, in, not independent producers because obviously they got money, but you know that they're just a film crew. They're on CW, so it's not high budget stuff like Friends or anything like that. But they're making the best of materials they got, and they're I think they're doing pretty well. Look, I don't complain about the look of a show. It's the writing. Oh, okay. It's awful. It's a bad idea to begin with. <laughs> Who greenlit that script? Well, my, my problem, my main problem with it is they start off fighting things that don't exist, but they don't believe in God. It's kind of... Okay. But maybe. that's... That, I mean, think about it. And, and then, then if they, you're encountering nothing but evil things that are trying to kill you and other people, wouldn't you question God? At, at but the, then, you know, they go through the whole thing. Where one's, gonna, one's gonna fight for the devil. One's gonna fight for the angels. And that should have been the end of the series. <laughs> but the That's series the was doing time. well. That's it was making money. I completely so agree. Why it was Armageddon? <laughs> what, okay, I, from what I understand, they were gonna end on like season four. They didn't understand. They didn't think that it was gonna get past that at all so they ended the, they like they made a real big ending to the story they had made so far but then people are like hey we want more so people are like okay well let's let's make more and it happened with Buffy the vampire slayer too you they, know what? she <clears throat> died she literally died and then people still wanted the show so they brought her back yeah well I mean that's just stupidity but oh. Jon Snow died I have the entire <laughs> Buffy the vampire Shut up. series <laughs> <laughs> So Pat likes Supernatural and Buffy. But that's it. I, I, I can't say anything about Buffy because I never watched it when it was on. I didn't like it at first either, but then the wife made me watch it and I liked it. It was funny. Dude, like I said, I I can't shit on you for Buffy because I don't know anything about it. Has you never extremely watched fucking James uh, Marsters. Wait, what? Why is the guy the guy you... Uh... Hmm? Because he's Spike. I mean, he's a cool guy. He's like 40 years old, but he's like acting like he's you know, in his early 30s. It's really cool. 
But why is he extremely good looking? I'm playing to the audience just saying that Spike is a is a cool looking guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, where'd it go? Crap. Uh -huh. I took a shower. And that doesn't mean anything because it's legal now. I'm married to that kid. But not that, that not that any of that matters. Yeah. But it, it's uh I just I appreciate the writing. Josh Whedon directed it. He was the one who uh, directed both the Avenger movies. So I mean we it was and good Fire writing. Fly. And Firefly, so it's not like it was poorly produced. It Sarah Michelle Gellar was amazing. I also like Allison Hannigan, so please. He really likes Allison Hannigan. Uh, I'll give you that one. Right? Yeah, I'll give you that one. Absolutely. Do um, you ever watch a show called Todd and the Book of Pure Evil? No. no. I only watched it because Jason Mewes is in it. Ah. Uh. <laughs> it is fucking awful. <laughs> But it's so bad, it's good. <laughs> there's only like two seasons. I would recommend checking it out. <laughs> so there's a movie that was made in El Paso in the 60s. Okay. And the whole reason it was made was because this guy, he sold fertilizer for a living, was like, oh, I could do what Hollywood does. So he made this movie, he directed it, you know, everything. It was so bad that at the day after the premiere, one of the stars hung himself. Ooh. Yeah, it's called Manos in the Hands of Fate, and he couldn't af he couldn't afford like a camera and like the recording rig, so yeah. all the voices are dubbed by him and his wife. Like all the sound is dubbed by him and his wife. <laughs> <laughs> it is so <laughs> horrible, but you have to watch it. <laughs> oh my oh god! Oh my god! god. I yeah. just looked it up on IMDb right now. It's got a one point nine out of ten stars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a very scary rating. By the way, I created this illustration for our audience. Should they be concerned for what Dan was talking about? I'm telling you right now, it's an awful show, but it's worth it. I'll give it a try. I I mean, we have this thing between me and my brothers that is called the man movies. And they're the movies that are terrible, but you absolutely have to watch them if, you, if you're going to be considered a man. It's called group. Pornhub. No. Uh, but have you ever seen the movie The Burbs with Tom Hanks? Yes. No. No. It's no. the movie. It's a movie that the the idea of a man movie is the idea between a terrible movie and an okay barely movie. Like if it's a terrible terrible movie, like um, Manos in the Hands of Fate. Manos in the Hands of Fate. That doesn't count because I it's just, just Manos colon the Hands of Fate. Is it? Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it I precedes it. a colon. Absolutely. But yeah, by Harold I, P. Warren. Yep. Fertilizer salesman. But yeah, absolutely. There there are certain movies that are required to watch if you're going to become a man. I'll send you guys a list later and my you're both required favorite to watch movie of all time is Fletch. The Jerk. Wait. What? Wait. What uh -oh. is Dan looking at? What Dan Dan's looking crazy. What happened? Is he's he's watching Manos so, and the Hands of Fate? No. Oh, yeah. So there's Manos, The Hands of Fate, uh, 1966. Yes. And then there's Hands: colon, The Fate of Manos, 2015. That might be the, um, the Mystery Science Theater 3000. Oh, so like and something then, or there's Manos Returns, 2016. What? Oh no, it's such a terrible movie somebody made a sequel out of it just for the heck of it. It's in pre-production right now. Wow. Why <laughs> wasn't I contacted? Why wasn't I contacted? I should have been a part of this terrible, terrible production. And Tom Neyman, or Neiman, comes back as the master. So now, Manos So he wasn't so Pan. ashamed of it. I guess not. But the other guy... Um... His name was like Trogdor or something. No, not Trogdor. That's the Burninator. <laughs> no, not Trogdor. <laughs> uh, but he, he was the hunchback in the movie. He killed himself. Torgo? After... Huh? Torgo? Torgo, that's it. Is it John Reynolds? Yeah. Born 1941. He died October 16, 1966. I don't know what any of this is. It's crazy. It's... <laughs> but yeah, absolutely horrible movie. I've got some. I've I own it, so we can put some clips on to show some people. If... Oh my God! <laughs> but it is awful. 
horrible. So, I don't know why I bought it. Um, I mean, we could switch to gaming news for just a second. Uh, apparently E3 starts... Is it tomorrow? Or next week? I think next week. It's next week, right? I think we yeah. looked this up last time. God damn it, Pat. Um, What's is there anything that it's a great conversation? Is there anything that you guys are looking forward to for E3? Um, I haven't really looked into it because uh, I've I've just been busy with work. Pat just turned off our camera. Good job. I didn't know such thing. But as long as the audio is still there, I mean it is. But <laughs> but yeah, I I um. Just decide. I haven't really looked into it because I've been busy with other things. And well, they announced Watch Dogs two today. I keep hoping they'll announce Half Life three. Not gonna happen. I don't know. I saw a picture of them put, putting up a billboard. No, it's not gonna happen. Oh, you had it for a second. I think it's entirely possible that. Uh, our camera was so overwhelmed by our professionalism that it just cut out. What? You had it back for a second. There you go. I, just, I don't saw, think that's necessary. I just saw Tip's butt. Well, I don't know what's happening here. This is very disconcerting. Let's just continue this for our audio podcast listeners. There we go. Dan, you're the center of the show. You can do it. It's too much pressure. I can't handle it. <laughs> no, but you know, I heard that you know that E3 typically is a place where they're, they're going to tell us that they're going to hold off another Nintendo game. They're going to hold off Kingdom Hearts again. Oh, uh, don't tell off. me that. Like you know, they're going to. They always have a trailer for it, but they're never going to necessarily show it. They have to add Jedi now. But I yes. want Kingdom Hearts. We all do. So okay, <sighs> so far, new Zelda artwork's been released. Yeah. Um, Watch Dogs 2. I think this article's just about... The Last of Us 2. Yep. Possible. Rumors have flown about PS4 sequel. Now, here's something kind of weird. I was driving by uh, UTEP this morning, and I saw an, an announcement for hey. a concert at the Don Haskins Center. It's Blink-182 with a day to remember... And Finch, I think. And I thought, what year is it? <laughs> Xbox 1.5? Yep. Um, Ooh. Actually, I'm, I'm really kind of... Well, what is this rumor that they're, they're already going to be coming out with another Xbox? I mean, is, is this... That's the Xbox 1.5. I think it's just a slim... Yeah, I, I think... Because I think Sony's supposed to be doing, or not, yeah, Sony's supposed to be doing something like that too. But what, uh, I mean, so the ch most likely, what's going to be announced for Xbox is the uh, it's going to be a slim Xbox One with possibly a two terabyte hard drive. Ooh. See, that's what I'm waiting for. That's why I haven't bought one yet. So if you, but if you wait till 2017, a more beefy and powerful model will be coming out. You see, you don't think that that's basically what it's going to be now is just like over, like they're going to be constantly making new iterations of just the same thing just so people will buy it. It'll become college textbooks of the future. Not game. even that. I think there's been talk of like basically it turning into um, a, a PC. That's yeah. A, that's mm -hmm. a console. You can open it up, change, swap out the parts, get better processors, shit like that. Same thing you do with your PC now. Which I, I seven, hope I they don't take it that way, just because I don't know. There's, it's a, I guess it's a novelty still in my mind that the console is separate from the PC. It needs to be. I mean, look at all these things about the Red Ring of Death on Xboxes that have happened for forever on Xbox 360s. Yet I have an N64 in my closet that I purchased, you know, and it still turns on every time. Never a problem. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's old now. Yeah, and but they keep making these parts that I almost think are speculation designed to break down so that you're forced to either replace the part oh or... that's right so go ahead you're right but yeah no that's what i'm thinking is that now it almost feels like things are designed to break down and it's very disappointing like this thing it, it's funny it's like I, I heard this one joke once of this guy who kept a xbox 
as his spare in the basement. Mm-hmm. And whenever he turned it on, he called it the Gears of War Xbox because every time it turned on, it sounded like the chainsaw in Gears of War. And that's what mine's starting to sound like now. Like, it can't handle the hard drive stuff. <laughs> but I still buy it because I did. Still, it's like, so I'm reading over the the list of possible, or I guess more than likely, at least some news on games from E3. So mm-hmm. Battlefield 1. Uh, I'm just going to hit on some of the big ones. Yeah. <clears throat> Which I'm okay with, I guess, Battlefield going back to World War One. That's cool. Yeah. It, it's, it's a good take because 90% of the shooters over the last however long has either been in space uh, or World War Two. Yes. So I think it'll be nice. Like, what was that game? Fuck, it was a little 2D or 1D side scroller, very cartoony. Uh, Valiant Hearts? That sounds very familiar. I think I don't that's what know. it was called. It was set in World War One, and like that was a great story. And it was a great game. Uh, it was just a different setting, I guess. Not enough is done with World War One. I. I mean, you don't see any movies or. Anything like that. It's like the Forgotten World War. Oh, well, not that. I think it's... I think it's more like... I don't know. It's dull, I guess. Yeah. In a sense. Like... Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's the game. For our uh, audio listeners, I just showed Dan a picture on my phone. <clears throat> so, like, I think... Because I think with, with World War One, it was like... Uh, machine guns were... I don't even think they were around yet, or if they were, they were very They rare. were just coming out. It, it wasn't one that you could carry, like an AK-47. It was like a Gatling gun. Yeah. It, was it, it might have taken, like, four or five people to... Yeah. We had evolved it or stuffing it down into the musket. Right? But that's what I think... That's why I think World War One gets overlooked, because it's that in-between stage. Like, if you look at it as the American Civil War... Yeah. And World War Two, it's like, you know, muskets and horseback... And then like tanks and shit like that from World War Two. World War One was like kind of like a transition, and I realize the timing is way skewed towards World War Two. But yeah, uh, I'm when just saying opened, like uh, they've time, set right? things. They've set things in the Civil War before because that's an interesting period. It was just <laughs> take a shot and it takes you five minutes to reload your gun. I know it was a race that you could reload the fastest. Right? And so I that's, think like, that's interesting, but we're, the only thing with World War One was like mustard gas. It was the first one with airplanes. Well, there's that too. The World War One flying ace, Snoopy. But um, with Sorry. with the Civil War, it, that was the transition between that that musket where you're like, mm-hmm. and uh, repeaters. Yeah. Like the Chester words. Yeah. And. I think, I think World last War One. I think World War One in a next gen game, um, especially in the Battlefield series, because like they did with what was it, Bad Company Two? They had the Vietnam expansion. Yeah. And like that was incredible. I'm, I'm, Vietnam's another one of those wars that's not really talked about because you know it wasn't a war; it was a conflict, a police conflict or some shit like that. And, and I'm gonna draw the line in the sand now. I prefer Battlefield. The Battlefield series to the Call of Duty series. Where'd that sand come from? I do from? too. Sorry. Personally. Yeah. That's, I don't know why, but I just always have. I have more fun with it. So speaking of Call of Duty, uh, they're releasing, or they're going to give more details about Infinite Warfare, which as far as I've heard is... Uh, Crap. It's a space marine shooter. <laughs> so it's basically Halo in the Call of Duty world. Yeah. Which is going to be awful because I'm a huge Halo fan and they're going to ruin it. But anyway. Um, let's see some of the other ones. I'm just uh, waiting for Call of Duty Revolution. For Final Fantasy 15 for anybody that cares. That uh, looks pretty good. I don't care about Final Fantasy 15, but they are doing uh, announcements about the Final Fantasy 7 remake. Yes, that is very important. Actually, I think the Final Fantasy 10 remaster just got re-released on Steam not long ago. It did, and I bought it. I'm excited for that. Yeah, I if could I never had, understand it. If I had money, I'd get it now. What, okay, explain to me the game. Explain to me the ball game. The, the the underwater game. Oh, I don't know. That's so, like, insignificant in that game. Yeah. It's well, like... Why are you hung up on that? Because like, that's the first thing you do in that game. You learn how to play that game. Right? Yeah, but then, it, it, then you go away from it for, like, ever. And then you eventually yeah. come back and you have to win a tournament, I think. But... 
Oh, and then I just other than that, it's, it's, there's not much to it. I don't know why they put such a big eye on it. Hmm. But there's way more to the game than that fucking... I know, I'm just picking on it to be the adversarial one to create conflicts, therefore conversation. <laughs> ah. I mean... So, uh, uh, we have Dishonored 2, uh, we have For Honor, Gears of War 4, so if you're a fan of Gears of War. That, that sounds cool. I was never a fan of the series. Uh, Halo Wars 2. Now, Halo Wars 1 didn't quite do so I don't well. think that's a game that I would look... Because I saw Halo Wars 1 and... Right. So I don't see how they can make it any better. But anyway, uh, the big one that I'm excited for, Mafia 3. I, I like that. I, I liked... They put out a trailer last year, and I think... Where the hell is this one set? It was either in Chicago or New Orleans. Is it... It's placed no, it in wasn't Chicago? Chi it wasn't no. Chicago, because the second one was in Chicago. This I one, I, it's... I, I want to say New Orleans or something like that. What is the Mafia games about? The Mafia? People that don't... I mean, obviously, yes, but I mean... Are you in the Mafia, or are you trying yes. to take it down the Mafia? Oh, okay. You are in. So, I, I didn't play the first one, but I played the second one, and uh, you're like a struggling Italian immigrant, and the only way to make money for your family is to start doing shit for the Mafia, and then you start working your way up, and... It'll be interesting to see how the third one goes. I'm ex very excited for that. I totally forgot that that was even on my radar. There's That's nothing awesome. on here but Kingdom Hearts 3, which is <laughs> very, very sad. Uh, there's going to be a civiliz civ <laughs> Civilization 6. Oh my god, there's five of them before this? Is? Jesus. They're all the same. I thought you would have been all over that. And then the other one that I'm looking forward to uh, is South Park, The Fractured But Whole. <laughs> uh, so, I just want Zelda. What? I, I oh, there's the Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they're well. making it. God, sorry. That, no, it's just, uh, it's for the one with uh, him having the. Uh, I don't know even know what it's called anymore. They've been teasing us with that for so long. <clears throat> it's gonna be on the Wii U. It's gonna be on the Wii U. I almost bought a Wii U specifically for that game to find out that it's not even gonna be on the Wii U. And if it is, it's probably it gonna is. be like a. Like According a, to this list, which I'm on. Huh. Don't say it. They have to pay us first. I don't know how reputable this site is, so I'm not going to mention what I'm on. Pornhub. Uh, no. <laughs> Pornhub E3 coverage. <laughs> We're all over it. <laughs> Dan, please. We're we may have serious. just gotten a contract. <laughs> oh, that's awful. And then uh, rounding out the list, we have Titanfall 2, Watch Dogs 2, and Ukulele. Hmm. Which, Ukulele, I don't know if you know anything about it. You guys heard about ukulele no so it's from the people that made um Guitar. banjo kazooie oh okay oh wow or, Rare. no yeah banjo kazooie um and they this, they, this is, is they kickstarted this so this was like a big oh. kickstarter thing um, so and it looks wow. really really cool so it's going to be that you know cartoony platformer yeah you got a companion with you to learn all the bunch of different moves and all that sort of stuff. It's going to be you and Khalili. Yeah. That's and awesome. Then, I love the idea that an independent developer is now getting funded to do their things. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, it, was, it, was, uh, it was on Kickstarter for a long time. So I want to <clears throat> I want to change gears just a little bit. Go back to HBO. Do you guys watch Last Night Tonight by any chance? I do. No. Yes. Yes. So I John Oliver... Did oh yeah, where he bought sixty thousand dollars, or he spent sixty thousand dollars on fifteen million dollars worth of debt, right. and he forgave it. Right, medical debt, by the way. I read, I, that, uh, I read that today somewhere. Yeah, he, he did it on Sunday. I think it was the Sunday, or it might have been the week prior. But I thought that's amazing. Why couldn't he do student loan debt? Well, you probably can't buy student loan debt for pennies on a dollar. That's true. Most medical debt, you don't, you can't claim, and then medical debt doesn't affect your credit score. I mean, you should totally pay your medical debt. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I thought that was really cool, and thought I'd bring it up. No, that's a, since we're all about cool things. That dude, I I am impressed by him. I don't know if that was a list. It was, I've, I mean, the the negative side of me says, oh, it was a stunt just to get popularity, but the humanity side of me is like. That guy's freaking awesome. He deserves what, a what I like about John Oliver is he calls bullshit. Oh, yeah. On everything. And. Indeed. I guess he's not afraid to 
really call bullshit. One last thing on E3. Totally forgot oh. about this. Sorry. One thing I'm hoping to see is news on Red Dead 2. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Red Dead Redemption 2. Because apparently there's that map that got leaked that uh, the map from Red Dead Redemption uh, fits into somehow. Mm -hmm. Like the top corner of the Red Dead Redemption map is in the bottom corner of this new map that was released or whatever. Um, and it looks a whole lot fucking bigger and I would die for another Red Dead game. Yeah, I, I love Red Dead that. Redemption was amazing. I think we could actually do a series in that if that were the case. Well, and here's that. what would happen, because here's the trend I can already see happening, because this happens with all the massive uh, open world games like this. That's when, like, you know, when, like, GTA V came out? What did Achievement Hunter do? They started looking into all the different game types. They played online all the time. They made maps. Yeah. That's their go-to series. They do tons of videos of those a week. Yeah. Everybody's going to jump into that. Same thing with if a new Red Dead game is out. Everyone's going to be on the multiplayer doing series. If we can have a map editor for game types and shit like that, they'll be doing that. It'll be flooded all over YouTube. Which is why we have to go old school and do Halo. The first one? Wait, wait yeah. I know what we do. The very first one. You know what we'll do differently? You know what we'll do differently from them? <laughs> yeah. God damn it, Pat. You and that hat. Yeah, so I mean, and there's probably going to be a shitload. There's going to be a shitload of VR talk and all that. Because they, they, they seem to be doing well. At least from the little bits that I've seen on Achievement Hunter, because those primarily what I watch. The whole the whole market, uh, I think, of the whole Let's Play concept is just seeing how fun a game can be when you play with your friends. So it's yeah. like inviting people to want to play that game socially because you see how fun it can be. Because I think a lot of people they're inhibited by their fear of playing with online multiplayer. So once they see that, hey, this actually is fun. Generally, no people is. online multiplayer are fucking assholes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and they're all 12 years old, and they've all apparently slept with my mother. <laughs> 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 only... It's true. I love it. It's so true. But I no, know. that's like, I, I stopped playing, I used to buy the NHL series yeah. every year. But I stopped buying it because I'm like, I can only play Be a Pro for so long yeah. before I just get bored with it because my character's like, really good and I'm very good but I also get used to that game speed and having that good of a character that the second I jump online I gotta start brand new and all these fucks have already been playing their characters for months Yeah, and you just get shit on for cause you're new Yep. I'm like dude I'm fucking 30 I don't need this shit so I just don't I don't buy it anymore nope. it's just horse shit at least with <laughs> at least with Halo, like I can mute everybody. Yeah. So like, if you go into Firefight or whatever, or whatever the things are called, I can't even remember. The uh, matchmaking. No, not the arena stuff. The other stuff, Warzone. Okay. You get thrown into a game with like sixteen people or fifteen other people, but you can mute all of them so you don't hear their headsets. Yeah. Now, theoretically, we're all in our thirties now. Mm hmm. We could probably go find some of those twelve-year-olds' moms and just <laughs> wake up and be like, "Hey, remember me, baller b-boy too? That's what I'm doing." <laughs> so, so what you're proposing is that somehow uh, we get money, Alla yes. Jay and Silent Bob. <laughs> yeah. And then go to every go to everybody's house that dissed us on the internet. Yeah. I and mean, it, it's not a horrible plan. Something. No, and it's then just we about getting the money. Yeah, and then and then we sweet talk their mothers and <laughs> and create more fans. <laughs> just <laughs> show up at the breakfast table one morning. Hey, kid, remember, <laughs> remember me? me? <laughs> <laughs> really, I bet you. I bet you some parents would be like, if we give you five hundred bucks, let us just walk out with the mom to the kitchen in the breakfast area. Yeah, and just we'll play it up. Yeah. So he says, uh, they say, they've been saying that you're watching stuff on the internet that you shouldn't be watching. And it's a perfect opportunity. That's not at all where we were going with that, Pat. Uh, I know, but I'm trying to make it innocent for the uh, the people. Why? Yeah. No, for the younger viewers. Pick a side, goddammit. 
<gasps> Join us or fuck off. <laughs> I'm trying to be the antagonistic one. Stop right? trying to be the nice guy. Can't help. No last name Planksy. Ah. That's true. I guess we I guess we need that balance. Because if yeah. it was just Tip and I, we would get in trouble real quick. Real, real quick. <laughs> Most people do. It's okay. That's fine. <laughs> Uh, all right, all right yeah. should we start rapping I was just about to say that alright you start with the beatboxing tip and I'll get going well, that is the worst beatbox ever I was going to do something but I thought no yeah no. let's let's, let's not do that let's okay. try well anyway <clears throat> we've been going like way fucking longer than we normally do too I think oh, 51 minutes oh wow special edition episode tip came to visit Exactly. Next week in Canada. I know. Next <laughs> week, Tip and I will be at Dan's door asking for a place to stay and eat all his food. It was fucking cold here today. Like, cold it's enough. Canadian it says it's cold. It was okay. cold. No, no. I mean, for the middle, uh, for the beginning of June, it was cold enough that if you guys would have shown up today, we you just would have went right back on the plane. I would have walked over to Tim Hortons and been like, Dan. It was a Dad. high. It was a high of. Seven degrees today, so I don't oh. know what that is in Fahrenheit. If thirty-two is zero, seven is forty. I have Let's find out. Version. Maybe seven. So, Let's see, we're That's... going to the interwebs for complete confirmation or official confirmation. for one last com- official confirmation. Mm. Yes, no, no, no. that was you can't right you anymore. can't stop listening to this podcast so you know what the conversion rate is here in the United States. Forty-four. Before yeah, I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have even gotten off the plane. No, right? I found him like, back up, motherfucker. You're like, June 1st? Fuck, it's cold here. <laughs> First. Well, fueling the plane, there's still two guys on here. Get them off. <laughs> yeah. All right, anyway. So I want to thank everybody for joining us this week. Yes. Um, next week, we'll probably go back to streaming and shorter casts. And shorter yeah, stuff. and everyone will be home. And... The older you get, the harder it is to stream. You tried that before, Nick. Awesome. They're not letting it happen again. That's a joke I'm going for. <laughs> anyway. All Tim, right. Please. So hopefully we made you ask. Why did ask for? Why did end? Why? 